Yo, Elliot, how much time should I focus on honing my craft and my sales job per day, in your opinion, to the degree that you want to be great? Right. That's like saying uh, an athlete asking, you know, how often should I train or, or how much should I train or should I go to practice and uh, things of that nature? And then you, you got to kind of consider that, like, hey, bro, do you want to be a champion? Well, yeah. Well, then you're going to have to practice a little bit more for a little bit longer. Are you OK just getting by and being a middle of the road athlete? Well, then you do the bare minimum. Are you just here because you're having a good time and you're having fun and you really don't care if you win? Then you really don't have to train at all. You just go and have a good time. It, you have fun, right? The most important thing is having fun. That's what they tell us in this world, which I don't believe is true. Have fun, just have fun. So you got to ask yourself, uh, you're in sales, but why, right? Am, am I in sales because I want to be the best salesman? I don't sell a whole boatload of the product, right? I want to earn $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 a month. To the degree that your goal, to the degree of what your goal is, is the degree to which you're going to train and you're going to work, right? How bad do you want it is really the question. Do you really want to earn six figures, seven figures, be the highest grossing salesman in your company? Or are you okay being middle of the road, middle of the pack? I'm not making a judgment about either. I don't care if you want to be middle of the road, be middle of the road. Sometimes that's the best strategy is to be middle of the road, right? Because you, you're doing your work because you need to do your work, right? Oh, it's going to be middle of the road. Go for the ride. It's really up to you. I can't give you an opinion. I can't tell you how long per day should you focus, right? If you're real hungry, you're going to spend every hour that you're not selling, learning about selling. I remember when I first started my career as a personal trainer, if I wasn't actively training people, I was learning how to market and sell my services or how to be a better trainer. That's all I consumed. What else is there? What am I going to do? Go watch the new Batman movie or play video games or I don't know what people do. How bad do you want it? How much are you willing to sacrifice? What do you want? What are you willing to do? That's really what it is, bro. What do you want? What are you willing to do? That used to be my favorite line. What do you want? What are you willing to do? When you nail those two questions down, what do you want? What do you want? Right? Be honest with yourself. What do you want? Okay. Now, what are you willing to do about it? Once you answer those two questions, you got to answer yourself, bro. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.